Hi, welcome to this video on data and information. In this video today, we're going to look at what data is, what information is, and what are the differences between the two, as well as looking at the five key characteristics of good data. Today, we're going to look at the difference between information and data. Data is simply a collection of facts and figures, little bits of information, but not information itself. When data is processed, organized, and generally put into some sort of order, it gives it meaning, and this is what we call information. Data and information contain characteristics which we look for, which can be said to increase the reliability and the accuracy of the data. Five characteristics of high quality information are accuracy, completeness, consistency, uniqueness and timeliness. There are many ways in which to present data. This can be in table format, which is a useful way of showing text and numbers as they can be organized with headings. Text is often used where qualitative information needs to be presented. Graphs and charts are commonly used to summarize numerical data as it makes it easy to spot patterns. Infograms are used for some data which cannot be easily represented in tables or charts, so easy to read pictures are used. To make data suitable we have a concept called GIGO, which means garbage in, garbage out. The idea of GIGO is that if you put rubbish into a system, you will get rubbish out. Therefore information needs to be accurate and good. This is why we use a process called validation and verification. Verification is checking what you have entered is true, e.g. a password. Validation is checking the information you've put in is correct, like the example shown here with incorrect dates of birth. Primary methods of data collection record data as its source. These are the most reliable methods of data collection. Secondary data is data collected by organizations on your behalf, such as a survey company. Quality of data can be judged by its age, its completeness, meaning no gaps, accuracy, volume, so how much of it there is, and the source and method of collection used. The reliability of the data can be judged by whether it or not it's primary or secondary, the size of the sample, validation and verification of the sample, demographic of the sample, and time and place of data collection. <laughs> 